So I heard you want to make high posts, but you don't know it how. Wow. Well, here's a video to show you how. Don't worry, this is coming up in January. You got to be prepared. Don't procrastinate. Hey, it's Dr. Ron Gamble. We're here today because I'm going to show you the ins and outs, all the details, and all the options for an eye poster. Luckily, I got you covered. So let's jump into this. We're not actually going to go through typing all of this stuff in. I know it takes time, but trust me, yes, there is a process, but it's not as complicated as you might think. Customizing your section headings is at the top. You want to click on design your eye poster. You can customize your section headings. You can see the colors, edit the background and all that jazz. When you scroll down to the author info, that's where you want to put like kind of a quick kind of like CV. This is where your CV is going to go, right? So your experience is very short, simple to the point, right? Um, clicking on edit abstract. So this is where you're actually going to type your poster abstract, not necessarily in the section because that's a different button later on. And additionally, adding disclosure, these are things like adding funding or your grant declarations. If you got paid for this, put it in there. So next is adding your references and where do those go? Obviously you want to give credit where credit is due, Cit citation style, of course, right? And then also you want to credit yourself. So next we're going to move into actually adding content to your poster. How do you actually do that? When you click on one of these sections, you can add GIFs, you can add video, multimedia, and then I also included some kind of tips uh, and tricks for what you wanna write in your introduction. You wanna keep it short, you wanna keep it quick, an extended abstract. <laughs> abstract. How do you actually add equations? And I know it's kind of like the dreaded thing that we look at, oh my gosh, I have to write more LaTeX. LaTeX is actually pretty cool. But in the iPoster application, you can type complex LaTeX equations. So now adding, you want to add a mixture of plots, multimedia equations, everything that you might need for your poster, just like a regular poster you might print. This is 21st century technology. Thank you, AAS, to whoever designed this. Now, one thing that is I highly recommend when you are adding content to your iPoster, use the image and video repositories you can see that right there all the everything that i've added to this poster is in that repository version history options are clutch this is where all of your little iterations all of your saves happen so if you happen to edit something and you don't remember or you fell asleep while you're editing this it might happen you can go to your version history and then see what happened last now my settings is where you really want to make sure that you edit all of your information, your contact information, your affiliations, everything else goes in my settings. And you want to make sure when you're done editing your poster, double check my settings. Remember, this is a digital poster. So now again, save, save, save option. Often, often, often. You want to click that. It will save every single time. When you're intermittently, when you're editing things, pro tip. Click on the preview button in the iPoster while editing to check format. It looks cleaner. Don't worry. When you add things to your iPoster while you're editing in the edit mode, it might look a little janky, but when you're in preview mode, it cleans it all up. Again, shout out to AAS and whoever designed the iPoster app. We didn't have these. The whole point of this is you can access your iPoster anywhere. A coffee shop, you can access it, edit it, your iPoster. Please do that. I edited part of this iPoster video in a coffee shop. Again, you can access wherever the internet is, you can access your iPoster. Whether you're in a coffee shop online, in space, yeah, you know, shout out to the astronaut who was able to do that. <laughs> um, but again, accessing it from everywhere, even if you're in the lo-fi universe, what you don't want to do is miss the deadline. Do not miss the deadline, because I guarantee it. If you get caught up playing games, you don't want to miss the deadline. This is a community, so it's community driven. We're trying to make sure that you're good. This is how to make an eye poster with Dr. Ronald Gamble for the American Astronomical Society. We hope to see you there. And I want to see all the crazy, cool looking eye posters that you create after this video.